Hello and welcome back. So let's create our tables, shall we? So the first one is class lecturer. So I'm just going to copy from there and paste it there. This one will be ID, that's the main ID. And then we'll have, uh, what do we have here? User ID. Oops, user ID. And then we'll have the class ID. We'll have disabled. And we need one more for date. So click go. This one is the date. What else do we need? One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four plus the ID. Great. This is good. These ID are variable character. So this one is tiny int at the end. And date is date time. Tiny int will have a length of one. This one obviously 60. And the other one 60 as well. And uh, what else? The int is fine. We just mean we need to add auto increment. And primary key yes and then hit save all right then so we have class lecturers now we just need to add index for every id to help with searching so that our searches can be faster oops what have i done i guess i added too many so i added the second one here on the very on one item so remove that you don't need two uh, indices on one item click there we can use the date as well and the class ID finally okay just to check here that I didn't repeat anything okay that's great now that we are done with that we can go to the next one so let's click new again this will be a breeze. Let's click add to add a new one. Let's put ID. Let's put user ID. Class ID. Uh, disabled. And date. Great. Primary key auto increment. Uh, user ID here. This one will be variable character, variable character, 60, 60, 1, tiny int, date time. Alrighty then. And yes, the name. We need the name for the table. So this one will be class students. So copy and paste. Then let's click go goodie here we add an index and in, oops index everybody gets an index class id index very good let's go back and create one final one so let's go, go to add one extra column and this one is class tests. So there we go. Now class tests may need a little bit more than this because we need the test name. Maybe we'll call it test because we need to identify uh, the test name itself. And maybe actually we need a test ID just to be consistent like this. So we needed test ID. The user ID is who created the test. The class ID is where the test belongs to, where it belongs. And we so we can enable or disable it to the date it was created. The questions will be in a different table. So this is just the title of the test. So there we go. We may need to add a few more columns here. So we have ID there. And then we have user ID. We'll have the class ID. 
we'll have disabled we'll have test maybe test name or just test like so and then we'll have the date and where maybe let's do test id and then date so here we have um, date time variable character of 60 test variable character this will be just the test title maybe let's put a hundred tiny int here because it's true or false zero or one variable character variable character 60 and 60 we don't need a value for that auto increment primary key and let's see here looks cool to me let's hit save Alrighty then, now let's add some index to all these guys. Because we will be searching using any of these. You can search for the test name. You can, might want to search for the date. Oh. Disabled may be used to when retrieving records. Class ID. Good. Okay, so if we come back to our, now we have class lecturers, class students, class tests. Very, very good. All right, so now we are able, we'll be able to add something here. But of course, like I mentioned earlier, for every table that we create, we need to create a model for it. That way we can read directly from it. Okay, so let's do that in the next video.